A robust connection between lawmakers and their constituents is a part of any fluid working democracy. Today, people had a chance to ask their legislators questions while sipping on coffee, either in person or online. Kelloland's Lauren Solick was at Southeast Technical Institute this morning, where six lawmakers heard from the public. A number of topics were covered at the first legislative coffee hosted by the Greater Sioux Falls Chamber of Commerce this year. Why not support Senate Bill 146 to allow parole eligibility at age 50? We need to take care of our veterans and uh, recognize what they've done for us and our country. Because I, I do believe that our prisons, um, criminal justice system is is overrun. Do you support a 3% increase to help our schools? The chamber is hosting three such events this year to give people a chance to ask their legislators questions about issues. Today's event hosted lawmakers from districts 6, 9, and 13. You know, I've been here in the past in the audience. Um, this is obviously my first time as a legislator, but uh, it's it's different, but it's it's a good good experience as well. There's a lot of the bills that are brought up at these kind of coffees that I haven't had time to research or haven't heard of and so it brings uh, some knowledge to me on those bills and it's great because uh, people have been just uh, you know really fantastic on bringing some good issues and and I learned from my other uh, representatives and senators that are here. Topics covered at the legislative coffee included the death penalty, funding for education and Medicaid expansion. The ongoing session in Pierre has seen 17 legislative days come and go so far. It's went fast, you know, uh, being a, a person on the outside looking in, it, it may not seem that way, but when you get in there, um, things go very, very fast. You're busy from early morning into the evening, so it, uh, it's almost been like a blink of an eye. And COVID-19 has changed the legislative process. It's, it's a different session, I, and I'll just be honest with you. With the COVID pandemic, and, and uh, we don't get to see the people that we like to see. People are not coming out to peer like they, they would normally. There are now 20 legislative days left in the session. This last week it got pretty busy. Um, it's, I know it's going to get more so, but uh, I think some more interesting bills will be coming up. And, uh, you know, I know there are a few that strengthen uh, what, what I call federalism, um, just strengthening our state as a whole, uh, making South Dakota a better state overall. So, so we're getting some excess money to spend, what we call one-time funding. Uh, and that's, I'm really excited about looking forward to that. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. The next legislative coffee hosted by the Greater Sioux Falls Chamber of Commerce is scheduled for two weeks from today from 10 to 1145 in the morning.